In this video, our test rider named Bounce goes to the pump track. I sometimes ride my local pump track to practice, but I like to get there early before too many heckling hooligans show up. This virtual pump track is a much safer environment. Well, at least it is for me, but maybe not for Bounce. She's never done this before, but she is a fast learner. Ouch, that may have hurt. So we need to help her. I made this simulation because I wanted to understand better what was going on at the pump track. Apparently pump track skills are really important for BMX riders to keep their momentum over the terrain. We are going to teach Bounce how to ride the pump track. She can shift her weight forward and backward as well as up and down. So how can she move the bike to maintain speed and stability over these bumps? I programmed the terrain to be a simple sine wave which seems remarkably similar to pump tracks I have seen. But since Bounce uses a game controller pad, her motion can only be up or down or left or right. She can read the terrain and move, but she moves all the way in a particular direction. So her movement is either on or off. For example, she can have input A for part of the curve and input B for part of the curve. So ideally, she would keep her center of mass in a straight line over the bumps but maybe I made the bumps a little bit too big. First, I experimented with when she should stand and when she should crouch. I looked at her average speed for different timing. The best place for her to stand up is at the beginning of the rise, which I'm calling 25% of the sine wave. Next, Bounce tried shifting her weight forward and back. This motion was more tolerant of phase, but the same basic approach worked here. She then adjusted the threshold and found that mostly leaning back with some forward shifts timed at the rise seemed to work best. So how does this compare to a real rider? I compared Bounce's best performance to video frames. In some of the frames, her timing is a little bit late compared to the video. But overall, her body motion matches up quite well. Bounce got pretty tired trying to go faster, but this is what she learned. Moving left and right was about the same as moving up and down. And surprisingly, moving up and forward and then back and down was actually a little bit slower. Bounce sped along the best at almost 50% faster when she mostly leaned back but then pushed hard forward and up the hill, hard enough to lift the back wheel over the hump. 